Jesus Christ, Father God. Shower your many blessings on her, Jesus Christ. And everyone, Father God, who stand in agreement with her, Jesus Christ. Protect your people as you always do, God. Father God, Father God. As she come out today, Jesus Christ, with your word, Jesus Christ, whatever it may be. Protect and strengthen her, God. Give her enough strength, Jesus Christ, to stand strong. To stand strong, Father God, for herself and the people, God, she is not and praise for. Oh, mighty God, mighty God, we give you the glory, Jesus Christ. We give you the glory, Father, as we sing praises unto your name, God. And praise you, God. We thank you, Jesus, Lord God, for her heart, Lord Jesus, for her heart that is so pure before you. Oh, my heart, Lord Jesus, that is so right before you, mighty God, Jesus. Lord, as she goes before you for each and every one of us, God, and for those that she doesn't even know, Lord God, I pray right now, Jesus, right now, in the mighty name of the Lord, that, Lord God, you would bring forth for her things for this ministry, God, that need to be done. Everything, God, that needs to be accomplished. Lord Jesus, and I thank you for it, God. I thank you, Jesus, for all that you have, for all that you want, Lord God, to be done. Jesus, for you, Lord God, are the king. You are in control, Lord God. Jesus, for every need, Lord God, for everything that she has need of, Lord, as she sees you, God, she wants the very, 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 very best for this ministry, God, for your people. As her heart so pure and right before you, that your people would thrive, that your people would rise. And I thank you, Jesus, that each and every one of your people would be set free from all captivity. Nothing blocking, nothing stopping, nothing holding back your people, God. That is her cry, that is her heart's desire, Lord Jesus, to see your people saved, healed, delivered, set free. Lord God, for each and every one of the angels that you've assigned to her life, Lord Jesus, working in all of those capacities that work for her, work for us. All the angels, my God. Lord Jesus, as she's called each and every one of them forth. I thank you, Lord God, for the teaching on angels. I thank you, Lord, for the dispatch of angels. Oh, God, so much, so much this past year. And I thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for each and every month, Lord. Each and every month. What you did throughout each month. The month of October, the Ten Commandments, Lord God. The month of new birth, the month of new beginnings. Oh, Lord God, we have so much to look back on and be grateful for. And Lord Jesus, as we go into this new year, we will go into this new year free of the baggage, free of those things that would hold us back, mighty God. The rock of ages, as I lift your name on high, for you said if I be high and lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. You are the one who does the drawing, nobody but you. A pleasant good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everyone, no matter where you are located. In Psalm 91, verses 15 and 16 say, He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. That is a God of a definitive statement. I will, I will, I will. When we call, he answers. When we're in trouble, he will deliver. Long life, he will satisfy us with. 
people of God, that is an encouragement for each and every one of us today to know that we have a God that will, will, will do as long as we will do what we are supposed to do. Lift up our face, get rid of what should not be between us and him, and to move into the rest of this year so that we can turn the page into 2018. And for those that I want to announce to each and every one that we will be having a New Year's Eve service. We will let you know the start time. Sometimes it's around 9, I believe 9 or 10, on New Year's Eve. And we are expecting God to do great and mighty things through the woman of God. So just get yourself ready and make your plans now for that precious time in the Lord. Because we want to leave 2017 and move into 2018 on the right footing with him. All that he has for us to accomplish in this coming year. For he is Lord and he is King. For those who are new today that have joined us, we welcome you. If you have small children or any noise in your background, please mute your phone so as not to disturb the service and the flow of the Holy Spirit. You can certainly mute in and out to take part when you're able. We would like to have each and every person participating, so if you're available, certainly do so. If not, you can mute in and out. So just use wisdom in what works best for your situation. If you have to cough, sneeze, or burp, Please move your mouth away from the phone so that it does not pick up onto the recording that will be uploaded to the YouTube channel. Everything that you hear, the hundreds and hundreds of messages, are all a result of the services that occur live when we're together, and then they are posted. We don't have any editing equipment, so whatever goes on, it is put, put up on YouTube exactly as is. So we ask that you just be mindful of what you're doing. And for those who would like to bless this ministry, whether it be on a monthly basis or whatever the Lord lays upon your heart that is between you and Him, you can certainly reach me via the email address help for repentance serve Jesus at gmail dot com. One long sentence, no periods, no dashes. And you can see the email address as well. It's posted on the screen, so you can certainly copy it from there, and you can write to me, and I will let you know how you can bless this ministry. While Apostle is praying or ministering, please worship softly so she can move freely in the Holy Spirit. We do have a phone system that is very sensitive, and so while the woman of God is speaking or praying, ministering, whatever, if you could just either back off away, don't put your mouth directly into the phone, whether you can put it slightly away from you or on speaker, whatever works best in your situation. But just know that sometimes what it does is if we are all speaking directly into the mouthpiece of the phone, that she sometimes is temporarily knocks off the line and, and does have to come back. So if you hear that pause, sometimes that's you know what might be going on. Other times the system does mute, so, you know, we just have to bear with it until God makes a way for something else. Now, let us all worship as the woman of God comes forth in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah! You can tell the world about this. You can tell the nation about that. But you must tell them that Jesus has come. Tell them that the Comforter is in the midst. I said he will bring joy to your soul. He will bring joy to your soul. Many will talk this, many will say that. Many will do whatever is pleasing to them. But one thing they need to open up their mouth and say, 
that Jesus Christ is on the empowerment line. And he brings joy to many souls. He brings happiness, peace, and joy. You can tell the world about this. Go ahead, evangelist. You can tell the nation about that. Then Jesus has come. Then the comforter has come. It brings joy to my soul. It brings joy to my soul. You can tell the world about this. You can tell a nation about that. Tell them Jesus has come. Tell them that the comforter has come. It brings joy to my soul. Jesus. It brings joy to my soul. Hallelujah. Mama, mama, kotoria. Ribia, kotoria, mama, shekeria, kandai. Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you. My God Almighty, I welcome in the name of Jesus Christ. As the Lord God Almighty, hallelujah, has told us in 1 John 5, 7 and 8, that there are three in heaven in the seventh verse. The Father, the Word, <coughs> and the Holy Ghost, I welcome you. My God Almighty, here on earth, my God Almighty, in the earth, there are three in the earth, my God Almighty, the blood, the water, and the Holy Spirit, I welcome you. Mama, my God Almighty, my God Almighty, you said you have given me the authority, my God Almighty, to command. And I command thee the work of thy hands. I command, my God Almighty, for the Holy Ghost fire to be in the midst. Hang over every, my God Almighty, one that my God Almighty tune in. Rebe Koturia Bashanda, Rocco Seterica. Even those, my God Almighty, that don't tune in, hang over them, hang over them. Fire, fire from above. Holy Ghost fire. Marco Serikandal Moshende. Rabba Kotoria Bashende, my God, my Lord, in the midst, my God Almighty, where my mother is, where Mama Janelle is, where Mama Janelle is, where my God Almighty, Mama Phyllis, my God Almighty, where Lord God Almighty, Sister Cousin, Lord Jesus Christ, Rebe Kotoria Bashanda, Mako Serikanda, fire of God, be in the midst, consume, 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 consume everything that is not of God. My God, my Lord, my King, I welcome all my angels, Lord God Almighty, from Genesis to Revelation, Every angel, my God Almighty, that is in heaven, my God Almighty, that Rivia Marco said to the candle Moshende, that is in operation. I welcome, I welcome, take my God Almighty over, do great and mighty things. Rebe Kotoria Bashanda, Mama Kende, Rocco Satoria, Kandora Moshende, Ribia Kandoriander Mosheke, Rocco Satara, Bakataria Pa. Today, my God Almighty, hallelujah, we are in the 12 months, my God Almighty, and 12, my God Almighty. It is disciples' time, my God Almighty, I pray, Lord God Almighty, that everyone that is calling upon your name will, my God Almighty, give you the praise, the glory, and the honor that you unto your name, my God. Rebe Kotoria Bashanda, Rabba Kotoria Bakende, my God Almighty. Today, today, my God Almighty is the 15th. My God Almighty, one. One to one living God, 12. One to one living God with the one before the two. One to one living God, two. The, my God Almighty, the double again. My God Almighty. In the midst, my God Almighty, 15. One to one living God, five. My God Almighty, the grace that is my God Almighty up on each and every one life, my God Almighty. Today in the midst, let it flow, let it flow, let it flow. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If you all could just say, I receive my God Almighty. You would rebuild. My God, my Lord, my Savior. My God Almighty, hallelujah. 2017. My God Almighty, two kneeling again. Reminding us that we are to get the double balance in our life. My God Almighty and the grace is in the midst. To do great and
mighty things. Oh God Almighty, double balance for the physical and the spiritual in the midst. My God Almighty, after zero, my God Almighty, zero, zero, zero. My God, if there is a zero in your way, you will not become that hero. So, my God Almighty, I take authority to cancel, my God Almighty, everything that is not of God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because, my God Almighty, zero, my God Almighty, is what is not of God, my God Almighty, so it must be cancelled, cramp and paralyze in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Marco Sericando Boshende. Raba Kotoria Bakunda, Ribia Kotoria Baba Baba Kende, Roko Sotoria Baba Bakunda, my God, my Lord, my King, Hallelujah, seventeen, my God, a Kendo Boshanda, power of God, come in, come in, come in, the great one, true and living God, the one. Amen. That is in the midst, my God Almighty, rise up, Lord God Almighty, and take over, back off from your phone, back off from your phone. The one true and living God that break every chain, bring back victory again and again. Hallelujah. Mama Shende Rika Sotore Kando. Can you please just back up from your phone a bit? Robo Kotoria Baba Kunda, Ribia Sataria Kande. You all can worship, but just worship softly. I don't want to bounce out of the system. Ribia Katoria Mama Kende, Robo Kotoria Baba Shandai, my God Almighty Seven, which is my God Almighty Completion, my God Almighty. Rebebe Kotoria Baba Sata, Roku Sendere Kandere Woshende. And looking at the seven, my God Almighty, we could use the seven as a pickaxe stick. My God Almighty, you hold the tail of the seven and you use the my God Almighty that part to dig. That's what I'm going to do today with that seven to complete my God Almighty. What need to be complete out of the life of God's people as you all lift your faith up in the name of Jesus Christ. Rabba Kotoria Baba Kende, Robo Kondi Ander Boshanda. It is so sad, my God Almighty, while I'm here praying and saying, many of you just keep your mouth shut. From many of you come on the line, you're being mute out, my God Almighty. Just listening and waiting for your name to be called, people of God. Remember the God that we are serving. He said, my God, in Matthew, my God Almighty, hallelujah. Six, my God Almighty, 33. He said, if I be I and lifted up, my God, not Matthew 6, 33, I'm sorry. My God Almighty, John 12, my God Almighty, 33. He said, if 32, he said, if I be I and lifted up, then I will do all the drawing. Rebe Kotoria Bashanda, Rabba Kotoria Baba Kende, Rokonderi Andar And when God speak and we don't receive it, we are not lifting him up. We are, my God Almighty, insulting him because we are telling him that whatever is given, we don't need it. My God, Alm Robo Kotoria Baba Ketoria Kanda, Ribia Kanda, Yander Boshende. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before Him. Heaven and earth adore Him. He is Lord. He is God. He is King. Marco said, Kanda Boshende, Kanda Bosata. Rabba Kotoria Bashende. Rabba Kundi and Bosanda. Glory, 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 hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Marco said to the candle was ending. He is here. Hallelujah. He is here. Amen. He is here. You listen closely. I will bless his name again. He is here. Listen closely. Has he called out your name? He is here. You can touch him, and you will never be the same. Jesus is here. Hallelujah. 
Ribiosha mama kotoria bakende. Jesus is here. Thank you, Amen. Jesus is here. Holy, holy, he's holy. And I will bless. You need to bless his name again. For Jesus is here, the Holy Spirit. Listen closely as he call, as he call out your name. He is here with your heart. You need to touch him and you will never be the same. Go ahead. Evangelist. <laughs> As I, my God Almighty, hallelujah, was praying, looking up to God this morning, just before my God Almighty, while Minister Gay, Rabba Kotoria Baba Konde, is my God Almighty reading the scripture. I could see in the realm, my God Almighty, somebody have some, my God Almighty, hallelujah, confrontation. Consul consultation, my God, is that that's the word, teacher? Um, it's either either consultation when you call upon him, confrontations when you have a conflict. Yes, conflict, co the conflict, the conflict. Confrontation, yes. Right, confrontation. And I see my God Almighty, somebody. That seems to my God Almighty of my God Almighty that in their surrounding with my God Almighty children. I see my God Almighty something really take place that hurt the heart of a mother. Where the mother heart, my God Almighty, has been crying out because things has gotten so bad, so bad, so bad in the midst of the old. Driving, moving around, there's a lot of wind or noise. If you could just hold off and leave for a moment. Go for it, Apostle. As I see my God Almighty 
it's, it's, it's a disrespect situation. It is a disrespect situation and the mother is afraid. What is that sound? Come on, people. The mother is afraid for the daughter to move out or to leave because the mother is saying, you know, with the little help or name it or what have you, everyone can stay together and can build this and can do this and can do that. I don't know my God Almighty, Kondorobo Shandai, but I got that in my spirit and I just have to speak it. Mama Shiki. Robo Kotoria Basandai. You did cut out a little bit, Apostle. Could you uh, perhaps maybe just go back a sentence or two? Where, where, where it cut off was the Holy Ghost said um, somebody had a confrontation in the surrounding with their children. Something hurt the heart. Hurt the you heart listen, somebody talking, somebody talking. Jesus Christ. He is talking. There's a bunch of people. If somebody is in the background, it. I just wanted to... Where did, where did you say it? Where to reach? Lord Jesus Christ, yes. Whatever has been said, whatever has been done, hurt the heart. And my God Almighty, it, I just want to know if, uh, if, if there's anyone on this line or if it's somebody out there, I'm still, still going to pray. Marco said to the candor Shende. But I know that somebody is going through this with their children or with a child. Rabba Kotoria Basende. And you see, there's no, there's no uh, condemnation in Christ Jesus. Because when the Holy Spirit brings it forth, it means God is in control. The Father, I pray for that mother out there. I pray, Holy Spirit of God, that you will visit that home. Visit that house right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I come against every indecent word. I come against forces. I come against darkness. Hmm. I come against every spirit. Everything that is not of God, I bind, crump, and paralyze it right now. In the mighty, precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Marco Seteri Kandorobosende. Robo Kotoria Bahama Sotoria Kandian Dorobosende. Ribia Sanda Baba Kotoria Koko Robo Seteria Kandai. In the name of Jesus Christ. Marco Seteri Kandorobosende. Glory, glory, glory. Rababa Kotoria Basende. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is it possible for me to get the attention of Evangelist Denise? You have just sung this song a while ago. And the song said, when he call out your name, you will never be the same. You should be excited to hear God call out your name. Glory to God. Marco said to the candor of Oshende. Marco said to the candor of Oshende. As I, my God Almighty, in the midst right here, I could see in the realm of the Spirit as I tap into your mind. 
as I tap into the mind. I have seen as if, if you know, it's not, it's not happening like right, right now, but whenever certain conversation come around about certain things, and I don't know if you can tap into what I'm saying. If not, if you want me to bring it clear, if you want me not to, I won't. But as I, you know, here, I tap into the rim and I could see that it's like you're sleeping or uh, before you go to bed, your mind touching on certain things. What is that on the line? Somebody keeps gravel, shoveling, shoveling, shoveling something. I don't know if you all hear it. Yes, it's like a crackling. Yeah. Yes, it's going shh. Yes. I don't know if it's myself here or not. Okay, let me go along. As I said, whoever is coughing, please move away your mouth. Try catch your coughing and pull away. As I was saying, my God Almighty, that things, I see things keep coming to your mind and your like rebuking it you are telling it no 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 this is not of god Amen. this is not what god tell me this is not what god said you might not use Hallelujah. you might not use word like these but it's like you're saying i will not put myself back in such a situation again yes that's true go ahead because I see where it is like something that wants to torment your mind to tell you, why don't you just call and, you know, make a conversation and get to... Jesus, Jesus. And get things going. Because it, it is something that is right in your mind. My God. And it's mostly ride your mind, especially when you're like, when you're go, going to bed and when you wake up early in the morning, it's like you just see these things standing before you. Go ahead. See what you need to do, don't say go ahead, say yes, it's true. Come on, pump the Holy Ghost. Yes, because of what you see, because of what you hear. Rabba Kotoria, Kando Robo Sende, Rikando Robo Sende. Robo Sotoria, Baba Shandai. Because my God Almighty, the enemy, want for you to abort what God tell you. So the enemy come with all kind of things in your spirit pertaining. You know who and what I'm talking. Yeah. The enemy come with all kind of things want to override your mind. And want to tell you, my God Almighty, one thing. You know, you, you see, what you have to understand. <coughs> he always come with carbon copy. Yes, that's true. Amen. And you, my God Almighty, you who, I don't know if I'm saying it right, you are the one that has feel the pain and the agony. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. You are the one that has been through many toils and slaves and all kind of things. <clears throat> many shame. Many disgrace, yeah, yeah. many suffering, uh -huh, yeah. many things. And this is not a situation to say, 
oh the sky look blue so this the weather said rain is going to fall today but the sky look blue oh i'm going to i'm going to wash and hang out my clothes because there won't be any rain and then i'm gonna take a trip and then i'm not coming back until maybe tomorrow and my clothes will be all right on the line the rain won't fall and wet it yes a little night dew might be on it but still yet the rain won't fall because the sky look blue things looking good hey Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, God. Things looking good, things looking bright, things looking blue. So I'm, uh, you know, I, 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 um, the enemy would want to say, I think you should try it again, you know, because it's gonna be much better. Mm -mm, Jesus, coming with, with, with a force in your mind. It is your mind that the enemy coming with a force with. And I could, uh, you know, it might not be said. This might not be said because I'm hearing it in the realm of the spirit. Why don't you give it another try? Hallelujah. Thank you. Go ahead, Jesus. Why don't you give it another try? It won't be like the same. It will be better. Remember, the wicked one is not in the midst to do anything this that that and, uh, oh god almighty when the end when the enemy want to abort things <clears throat> he will come with carbon copy i wonder if you hear what i just said did you hear me or i chip out i said when the enemy can you hear me Yes, I hear you. When the enemy want to abort what God, God is bringing forth, he will come with carbon copy. Yes, amen. Agree. He will come with carbon copy. He will come with things that is not of God. I'm going to ask my God Almighty. <clears throat> Gonna ask teacher Crystal to stand by. Marco said to the candle bush in there. Can you hear me? Yes, I'm hearing you. Just stand by, stand by. Marco said to the candle bush. Mama Sotoria Ruku Seteri Kandayama. I rise up to tell you, evangelists, that the gates of hell shall not prevail. And I see my God Almighty, different from that situation, I see your mind being troubled, my God Almighty, about other things. Where you are, you are questioning God. Even where myself here is concerned, you are questioning God and um, you're even asking yourself, wonder if it's if, if it's gonna be so or it's not gonna be so. You're wondering if it's a, if it's if it's a change of mind thing. You're wondering if it is a change of mind thing. You even not just wonder, but you even speak it out. It seems like it is a change of mind thing. It look like a, a apostle not going to so and so and so again. Yeah, that's true, I said it. Rabba Bashanda. The word the word of God the word of God um in Isaiah fifty three one said whose report will you believe? And also Galatians 3 1 said who has be with you don't let the enemy come with anything to mess up what you already know hold on to what you already know yes hallelujah thank you Jesus I receive it hold on to what because this is a clearance for your mind because your mind has been troubled about it 
Your mind has been troubled about it, but it is for you to realize that God is in control and the woman of God can't do anything if God don't do it. I cannot, you know, whatever. It is God that is in control. It is God that is in control and because God is in control I rise up to tell you that the gates of hell shall not prevail in Jesus name. You know what? The, 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 the Lord heard. God hear you talking and saying, God, sharpen my discernment. Lord, I want to hear your voice more. I want to be used by you. I want... Uh, the, the Lord hear you praying that prayer very hard, very hard, more than before. Yes, that's true. You're praying that prayer more than before and because you are praying that prayer more than before, the enemy want to distract you from things that you already know, spiritually, physically, the enemy want to distract you from it to, to mess up your mind so that you will not be able to hear the voice of God clearly the way you are to. Amen, I that. He want to bring doubt, doubt in the midst. He want to bring doubt in the midst. Because he want to mess up things. And the Lord God Almighty is saying, even in the midst of where you are and your job, you needed my God Almighty to take that faith walk in prayer. Even while the prayer is going, the woman of God has prayed many prayer pertaining to Mama Phyllis that is online. Amen. Prayer that you all have seen the power of God move through and things start to happen. And God is saying... If you could only take that faith walk and tap in with the prior and pray along with the prior, you would see the salvation of God because you've been asking God for healing, this, that, 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 that. With you in the midst coming in agreement, you would see things happen. But you have to take that time out with God to do it. You have to take that time out with God to do it. Rabba Kotoria Bashandai. Robo Kotoria. In the realm of the spirit I have seen <coughs> where you've been asking the Lord. I see you pray a prayer one day to God. He said, God. Cut me down from this phone, God. Take, give, me, give me more time for you, Lord. Help me to have more time for you, Lord. Amen. God, I want to have more time for you, Lord. I want to spend more quality time with you, Lord. If you really and truly mean that where God is concerned, you will get it. The word of God said in, in Mark 5, 23, nothing is impossible to them that, not Mark 5, Mark 9, 23, nothing is impossible to them that believe. Amen. Nothing is impossible to, Ribio Shakara Makende. Jesus. Hallelujah. Nothing is impossible to them that believe. That's what it said in Mark. Nothing. In Mark 9.23. If you can only tap in. Where Jesus Christ has said. Everything is possible. 
impossible. If you believe, Marco said the candle was there. The enemy want to abroad abort your spiritual connection with God. I want to hear what I'm saying. I'm hearing you. The enemy want to abort your spiritual connection with you and God. So what the enemy is doing, the enemy is even putting doubt in you over things that has been, my God Almighty, prophesy in your life. Things that has been said to you from the woman of God, the enemy want you to ignore it and just said, sure. You know what? I'm not even going to I'm not even going to pay it any mind. You might not say it, you know, but this is what the enemy coming with. What am I speaking to you? Yes, Lord, that's you. So right there, my God Almighty, you have to get yourself into that. If you listen, let me say something to you. You notice, my God Almighty, there was a season for you to even get some powerful dream right where you are. Yes. You notice you are not getting much than like before. Yeah, that's true. Because because your spirit your spirit has been distracted by other things that is working in your mind. One of you hear what I'm saying? I hear you. So you have to, my God Almighty, get yourself in line with God so that God can able to do for you more than you can ever imagine or think. In the mighty precious name of Jesus Christ. I am going to pray. Don't let. Don't let anything be with you. <coughs> don't let anything anybody name it what of you not even your children them the lord said to tell you just stop following up things with them don't you know just leave them pray for them pray for them pray for them yeah. pray for them the other day abigail was you know doing well and everything and all that she's not doing bad don't get me wrong when i say doing well i'm talking like even where you're concerned she come to you she apologize she say you know she want to you and her to da 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 but the enemy my god almighty want that want that stubborn spirit to be in the midst of her yeah. a spirit of stubbornness with joanna it's a spirit of listen to me it's a it's a sneaking spirit of 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 um a sneaking spirit of disrespect Amen. with joanna and it's destroy the enemy want to destroy her she definitely you, you know she definitely need to be prayed for to get rid of that spirit of pride Amen. Because that's the spirit of pride that is acting up and ca causes her to behave in, in, in whichever way, way towards you, name it. The spirit of pride, it needs to be cramped and paralyzed. Let me pray for you, let me pray for you. What God wants for you to do, keep your eyes on Jesus. While the tidal waves of trouble overflow. Do you know that song? Yes. Keep your eyes on Jesus. While the tidal waves of troubles overflow. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Go ahead and sing it. He will storm the, he will calm the storms of life that cast you through. 
Glory be to God, hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, King of the universe, God of more than enough, Lord God Almighty, I come before thee, O oh God, for there is no other God that I know. Take over, Lord God Almighty, your daughter, mind, body, art, Mako set the candle, Washende, Robo Kotoria Basanda. Listen to this, listen to this. The Lord just dropped something very powerful in my spirit. Lord Jesus Christ, God of the universe. This is what God dropped in my spirit. He said, the enemy don't want for you to save the way you are to save. The enemy want for you to just spend, spend, spend. Lord Jesus. That's true, amen, that's true. I that. There is a spirit of spending that is upon you that need to be cut loose. Rebe Jesus, I receive it in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost. Yes, cut loose, Lord. Hallelujah. Marco said, can you all hear me? Yes. yes. Marco said, the candle was shed, the candle was sata. I receive it, I receive it. The enemy want to bring you down to zero. The enemy want, you know, it's like everything coming in your hand must just go like butter against sun. The enemy, the enemy wanted for you not able to save, for you not to gain, for you not to have. And what the enemy is doing, he put up on you a spirit is like sometime coming home from work the enemy telling you why don't you go to that store to see what is on sale are you there yes, I'm here. I'm here. so the enemy always it's a spirit that is up that's why you know i tell people this and people don't understand these things that you see happen to many of your life out there it's not just you yourself that love to shop and is an alcoholic. Um, shopaholic. Sorry, shop, shopaholic. 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 It's not you yourself. It is what they are doing. It is what these witches and all of these people in their organization are doing. They are tapping in on your credit card. They are tapping in on your money. They are tapping in on your spirit when you come inside the, 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 the store. And they are chanting over you all so that you will always come and buy. Come and buy. Don't be surprised, my God Almighty, if with these store, each yeah. each one of these store, they, they, these one of these big firm store, they don't have a witch in there, up into some place, sitting down, and when there's all the people, they are pulling your all energy and praying over you and name it and what have you. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ when I go into store because I said shopping is not my case. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ. I said, shopping is not my calling. Shopping is not my will. Come on, people. Not my calling. And Jesus That's right. I receive not that. That's right. I receive it. That's right. The enemy wants for you all to have shopping as if it is a calling. Holy. That's right. Spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So you all better take heed to that, my God Almighty. That shopping is not your all calling. Not my calling. She. I'm going to pray right at this moment and I hope everyone able to receive as well where this is concerned because with all of who is on the line, three quarter people that is on the line, the enemy doing this thing to them. 
The enemy is doing these things to them. Majority of my viewers, my subscribers, the enemy is doing these things to you all. So you all need to be delivered and set free. And I will, I'm, I'm going to ask the Lord God Almighty to pray a prayer through me, especially for that. Let me pray for evangelists. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, of another King of the universe, God of more than enough, we give you thanks, praise, glory, and honor for your goodness and your mercy, your loving kindness, Lord Jesus Christ, towards us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I bind, cramp, and paralyze. I come against forces. I come against darkness. I come against every wicked plan of Satan. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let God arise and the enemy scatter. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pull long every plan. Everything that the enemy is doing to her mind, I lay her mind on the altar of fire. And I command the fire to consume my God Almighty, even conversation that the enemy is putting wrong in her mind pertaining, Lord God Almighty, to her past. Father God, keep her Lord Abasete, Abashanda. Fire of God I release to consume. Revia to consume my God Almighty, those conversation. Fire of God I lose to consume my God Almighty, hallelujah. Even my God Almighty, where the enemy want to abort my God Almighty, a spirit of discernment, want to mess it up with wrong things, want to have her to think things that you are not saying. In the name of Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit of God, take full control over her mind right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father God Almighty, help her, Lord God Almighty, to be delivered and free, my God Almighty, hallelujah, from not being my God Almighty in the midst of her phone, but able to use it when it's necessary, but able to spend quality quality time with you Lord Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Marco said the candle are you receiving mama shake the candle was sending Marco said the candle was shatter Ribi a candle was sending father God almighty Rebe candle was shatter where children them is concerned help her lord God to stand strong so that she will not my God almighty hallelujah have to be talking to them and saying things to them when they are stubborn when they are prideful when they are stuff in the midst that is blocking and stopping and come up against her conversation my God almighty take full control right now God I scatter every plan of Satan from her, her and her children in the name of Jesus Christ. I bring down my God Almighty every forces every darkness. Father God, we are Lord God Almighty, hallelujah. Your daughter is concerned and the enemy Lord God Almighty put up on her. The shop, my God Almighty, Alec, my God Almighty. Marco said to the candle was I come against it. I lose your lose your daughter. I lose your children. I lose everyone out of the midst of this. I come against it. In the name of Jesus Christ, I plead the blood, 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 blood. I lay every finger, I lay every dollar, I lay every money, I lay every credit card. I lay my God Almighty everything on the altar. In the mighty precious name of Jesus Christ. Let God arise and the enemy scatter from your people life. I lose everyone my God Almighty from this alcohol spending. From this my God Almighty spending. Bad spending. From this spending. Whoever chant over them. Whoever my God Almighty. Hallelujah. Speak over them. Whoever pray over them. I cancel it. I cut it. I bring it down. Powerless. In the name of Jesus Christ. I deliver your people right now in the name of Jesus Christ. From every plan of Satan in the name of Jesus Christ. I ask your God Almighty to arise and let the enemy of my God Almighty, your daughter, evangelist Denise, my God Almighty, and everyone else, let the enemy of their souls scatter by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, I free your daughter from my God Almighty, this spending. I free her from this spending. I free her in the name of Jesus Christ. She must able to gain. She must able to save. She must able, my God Almighty, to remain in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God Almighty, help her, Lord Jesus Christ. My God Almighty, I command the power of God to fall upon my God Almighty, whatever credit 
it called she have so that she will pay it off my God Almighty and not to my God Almighty look back my God Almighty and any more spending will deliver and set her free right now I command thee angel of the living God angel of the living God take over her hands take over her finger take over her mind take over her ability my God Almighty and lead her in the part of righteousness her and her people and your people in the mighty name of Jesus Christ so that they will see this store pass it and it will not even my God Almighty feel like anything they will be oh my God Almighty and don't have to jump in their vehicle go on to shop or do whatever when it is not necessary I bind it up in Jesus name in the mighty name of Jesus Christ let God arise and the enemy scatter right now right now in Jesus name right now I pray even a miracle I pray a miracle upon the credit cards them right now that they will pay in full show them God Almighty do it for them so that they will not my God Almighty have to look back in Jesus name glory be to God hallelujah go forth go forth in Jesus name Minister Gay. Yes, oh, I have to go in another place so the phones will collide. So just give me a moment. Okay. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Evangelist Niece, God bless you, God. As the Holy Spirit was revealing and digging up some roots and tapping in, can you testify as to what the Lord spoke to you today about? And I will help you along the way. Go forth, my sister. Yes, God bless everyone this morning. Um, what the pastor saying, um, you know, there are more than one thing that came when she started about in my mind, thinking about two two definite things. And when she said she was going to speak out it, I, you know, should have let her speak and go straight with what she was saying because it kind of leaves two questions in my mind. Which one? But it's like the two of them pertaining the same thing. So, what is she talking about? Um, what she spoke about is true. You know what things bothering in my mind, and I think if I should do it, I'll do it not. And it's bothering in my mind. That is true. And um, <clears throat> what she's saying that you know I need to do quality time with God. That is true. It's not really the phone. Is like you know I really you know, do things like on my computer and so forth. And, you know, I really said to myself, I need to really hear from God more than what I am hearing. And, you know, really use to speak to me, show me things, and, you know, like an open vision most time and so forth. And that is true. And with other things like, can you just... Yes, the Lord, the Holy Spirit was saying that... um the enemy wants to like mess up your mind distract you and not to hear him so it, it wants to bring doubt in the midst and so even pertaining to all the prayers that have been on the channel for mama phyllis now if you could take that time and just tap in to those prayers that you will see the salvation of god as you come into agreement and you will see what is happening right before you. Yeah. Yeah, what you say, um, that is true. I have got that and I receive it. And then also, God, um, give me more time with you, you know, so I can spend that quality time. And, you know, in Mark, and then the scripture came forth, Mark 9, 23. Nothing is impossible to them that believe, but the enemy wants to abort that spiritual connection. You can yeah. kind of speak about that. Yeah, that is true because really and truly I'm thinking and saying that, you know, I really want to, there are some things in my life that I said, really, I really want to, um, you know, stop, stop working. I said to myself, you know, and, you know, that I can be more, 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 you know, nearer to God and so forth because sometimes I'm really tired really, really tired, and by the time I get around to do this, I do that, you know, 
because I was uh, but most of like in my bed most time in the night when I'm talking to God. You know, there's a lot of things that comes to my mind and you know, I need to spend more quality time with God. No more quality time with God. Well, I also think the way the Holy Ghost was speaking is that he wants you to take advantage of the time that you do have. In other words, not just necessarily when you go to your bed and you're tired, but for example, you know, what he's saying is if you're there and the prayers are there, you have a great amount of time there, you know, that you can use that time by, you know, tapping in and taking advantage of that time that you do have which is, you know, that he's, that he's revealing. Amen. Yes, yeah, so I'm here, I listen to the prayer. I, I, it is here playing, you know, right through. I listen to, I listen to it and so forth. But it's not that I, I pray every word that she said, but I really in agreement with most of what she said. But if the Holy Ghost, what the Holy Ghost is saying that I suppose to, you know, spend more quality time and go ahead with the prayer and pray along with the prayer. I will do it and I receive that. Amen. Because he said that the Holy Ghost said that um there was there was a season where you would get, you know, powerful dreams. But it's not like before because of the distraction on your mind. Yeah. That's true. But the enemy right, the enemy, you know, he wants to do the Holy Ghost said Get yourself in line to do more for you than you can imagine or think. I agree with all that. But don't let anything or anybody, and that's when the Holy Ghost said not even your children. So if you could speak about what the Holy Ghost revealed pertaining to that, that part of the distraction. Yes, but the distraction, what the Holy Ghost said is true. And you know, there's a lot of things that just stuck my mind. And there's a lot of things that I'm thinking, what I want to do. And I really feel I'm waiting on God, and there's a lot of things that, you know, that has been said to me what I can do and what I must not do and so forth. And even with my children, that is true. I receive that. The Lord spoke about, you know, each one, one has a stubborn spirit and the other one has a sneaky spirit of disrespect and pride. That's true. And before, you know, the Lord got even into the spending part of it, he was just talking about wanting, you know, you to be, you know, free from that operation of, you know, what is going on, how the enemy is working through both of them. You know, yeah, both that of them. that is true with the spending and so forth. And, you know, I asked God, really, I was coming, I, 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 when I, I'm by myself and... Especially most time when I'm driving, I pray to God and ask that, you know, to really take. And up to this week, I will say to myself, as the Lord, I want to pay off all the bills that I have that I can be free. And if I, I was even say to myself that if I get a big loan, I can just pay off and just have the loan to pay. I was even saying that to myself. But you know, the Holy Spirit was saying... And I believe what the woman of God said is true, that these organizations, that they're, you know, chanting over us all about what to buy. And I believe there are witches in there because all of these offers, all of these things that people receive, that they make it so enticing for people. I believe what the woman of God is saying, whether it's advertisements on the TV, whether it's things they send through people's phones, all of these coupons, all of these rewards, all of these supposed benefits that they're giving everybody. And it's just once they give you something for one thing, then people say, well, I saved 20 on this and I can. I believe what the woman of God is saying. There is a big force working over people to do this kind of thing for people to just keep spending and spending that is true because even um the week gone by i went to the store just for one two things and i and you know to, to buy and i not the store like not like food i went just for certain things and when i come out back i said what well i didn't come in here for this i know i am buying all of this 
And the lady said to me, that is true. That's always happened to her too. You know. So you see, that's so like confirmation. That yes. I said, I don't know what is it. And the lady says the same thing happened to her because I was at Catherine. I said, I didn't come in here for that and I buy this. And she said, that's the same thing happened to her. She came in here and she just, she's like, she wants, she said she wants, that she just wants to buy everything. And I believe, people of God, I believe this pertains to not just evangelists, but a lot of us, and I can say even for myself, if you have a coupon, you say, oh, look, I just saved. And then, well, now that I saved 20 on this, I could certainly, that gave me money to go get this. That's not the point. So what we're actually doing is, is spending more and getting more into debt. And I believe the woman of God speaking through the Holy Spirit that there are witches and people in these organizations to keep us bound and enslaved in this spending and in this debt cycle. That was, a, that was a very powerful revelation that really we can all accept and, and see clearly as the Holy Ghost is speaking. And how do you feel, Evangelist, when she said, I want to lay your mind on the altar of fire? Yes, I, I, I received that. That's what I want. I really want to get deeper more in God. You know, I was coming up. I know at one time I was really coming and getting near and near to God. And then, you know, I just just get discouraged and I drop back and I, you know, start to think. I said, well, maybe I don't have to do this and do that. But, you know, I felt better this morning when she spoke about, you know, to have my mind on the fire of God. I just want, I just feel good in myself. Bless God. And and do you feel, uh, you know, a freedom? Do you feel a freedom within yourself now? Yes, I feel a freedom. Oh, you know, when she's talking, I said um, that, I said I'm not going back, doing back this over, doing this, that. I feel freedom in myself. I feel that, you know, God really spoke and telling me not to do, not to do it. And I, um, one of the things that she, what, um, I don't, she didn't bring it out, but one of the things that comes to my mind, I said, you know what? It came to me this morning and said, why don't you do this? And why don't you do And I said, you know, I don't know. I don't, I don't feel like to do it. I don't want to do it. Even in the week I was saying, I don't want to do it. I don't want to go back where I'm coming from, you know, with the earth and the pain and so forth. So, you know. What she, the Lord, you know, that is true, and I receive everything, and I know God really loves me, and he's really in my life. Because the word spoken was that you're the one that's been through the pain and agony. Yeah. You're the one that went through the shame, the disgrace, and the suffering. Yes. And that the force is coming upon your mind, why don't you give it another try? Mm-hmm. But the Holy Spirit said... It won't be the same. The wicked one is trying to tell you it's going to be better. So the enemy wants you to take the carbon copy. Yeah. And I thought that was, you know, very profound of the Holy Ghost too. Yeah. And, and, and the Holy Ghost said it more than one time. I'm, I wrote it down like three different times. Not to receive the carbon copy. Not to receive the carbon copy. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. I receive that. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. And that God is the one who is in control. Yeah. Because he heard you say, sharpen my discernment. Yeah. He heard you. You prayed that very, very strong and very hard. But the enemy wants to just mess up your mind. But thank God for the digging out of these roots. Thank God for the freedom. Rejoice, Evangelist Dennis. Go ahead and rejoice. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. Yes, God. 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 Yes,
I got a joy, 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 joy down in my heart, down in my heart, down in my heart. I got a joy, 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 joy down in my heart, down in my heart to stay. For I'm so happy, so very happy. I found the love of Jesus in my heart. Oh yes. I'm so happy, so very happy. I found the love of Jesus in my heart. I know the devil doesn't like it, but it's down in my heart. It's down in my heart. It's down in my heart. I know the devil doesn't like it, but it's down in my heart. Down in my heart to stay. The devil cannot do anything about it. It's in my heart. It's in my heart. It's in my heart. He cannot stop it, delete it, do anything about it. It's in my heart. It's in my heart to stay. Come on, Kivangeli, sing out. And I'm so happy, so very happy. God, the love of Jesus in my heart. I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. My God, my Lord, my Savior, can I get the attention? My God Almighty of Teacher Crystal, my God. Marco Serikander Moshende Rika Satoria Basandai. Did you mute the puzzle? Jesus. Mama Shende. Robo Kotoria Bashanda. Can you all hear me? Can you all hear me? Yes, Apostle. You're back, yes. Marco Setrikander Moshende. Where's Teacher Crystal? My God Almighty. I'm here, Apostle. Marco Serikander Moshende. Right now, my God Almighty, I even take the authority to rebuke that layback spirit that you have in you. I rebuke it right now in Jesus' name. I come, on, come on! You, you, you see, you, 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 you know the rules, you know the everything, but you know the, the, the thing that the enemy. I, I, I know. Listen to me. Let me say something to you. You know what? I can say something to you and to each and everyone that is on this line. This line been running almost seven years now. And anybody can tell you, those that just come new, those that were here before, can let you know and can let everybody know one thing with this woman of God. I... I try my best to love people to the best of my ability because I, I force myself to have Christ on the inside. You know what I do with Jesus? I stuff him in me. Amen. I don't know about nobody, but I stuff Jesus inside of me. That's what I do. And because I have him inside of me, I practice love and my love must be real. I don't, I do not practice infatuation. I practice real love. I act it out, real love. But one of the things that I want to say to you is the enemy is doing everything 
I see it in the realm of the spirit. The enemy wants you off the line. Yes, the enemy wants you off the line. It's true. Hallelujah. Many things has come to your mind. And I don't know, my God Almighty, who ever have seen you and talked to you about it, like, you know, where church is concerned, where this is concerned, name it, name it, whatever, whatever, whatever. And to say, and to say, that's just a line. The Bible said we are to be, we are to assemble our, we are to, we are not to whatever with the assembly, but to be in the assemble with each. We must not. We must not forsake the assemble. We must not forsake the assemble, but we must be in the midst. A line cannot help you. People are looking on it where you is concerned to say that a line cannot help you to grow. A line cannot this and that. You see, all they are talking about is the line, the line, the line. When it is not about the line, it is about... Not even about Apostle Sharon Hamilton. It's about who is in control on the line. The Amen. In Jesus name. And I see in the realm of the spirit, the enemy, he tell you, okay, you can just go on and listen and mute and, you know, when you're ready, you just get off and, you know, please. Don't want you, I mean... Your interest has cut. 95% is just 5% keep you on. 5% keep you on and on. But you, I want to tell you something. The great things that God have in store for you. Let me say something to each and every one. And this is no joke thing, people. Many times... Listen to this. Many times I'm speaking to you and I'm also speaking to everyone. Because this is something for me to tell each and every one. We can go wherever we want to go. But when the Lord God Almighty lead us somewhere, my God Almighty, the enemy will do everything to pull us out. Amen. Amen. The enemy will do everything to pull you out. Now, You've been going to my God Almighty ministry for the longest while since you got saved from young, from much younger, name it and what of you. Maybe I could put it at maybe about say 25 years now or maybe, you know, less. And all this time you're going up into church and name it, nobody acknowledge who you are in Nobody acknowledge who you are in Christ Jesus. Nobody. Nobody, Apostle. Nobody was able to tell you. Yes, people said, oh yes, Jesus love you. Da 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 da. Name it. Da 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 da. But to tell you, my God Almighty, the right pathway for you to walk and the white, the right way for to for you to know the hope of your calling, so that you can able to sit in the midst for God to do great and mighty things in your life. Nobody has ever tell you that. No. And the Lord God Almighty have you to be on the empowerment, lead you to the empowerment line through prayer on YouTube channel. Amen. Truly. Put you, my God Almighty, oh, put you in the midst. Mm -mm. And put you in the midst. So that my God Almighty, since you start without a doubt, since you start coming on this empowerment line, your spiritual growth has stepped up to another level. Amen. True. True. All the deadness and the lousiness and the this and the that that the enemy was trying to keep you bound has been con my God Almighty conquered by the fire and the power of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Glory to God. It's true. And all these things the Lord God Almighty is doing and even give you, my God Almighty, a greater insight. 
how to pray, a greater insight how to tap over the plan of the enemy, a greater insight in so many things. Yes. And even though my God Almighty God has done these things to you, the devil, the enemy used somebody, the enemy used my God Almighty people to talk things in your life to tell you, you need to be in the house of God. The enemy telling somebody, my God, and, and the person that talked to you, my God Almighty, is try to try, want for you to be so confident. They talk so fierce to you. They talk so, my God Almighty, how could I put it? When the person was talking to you, the person was saying, I'm not telling you any lie. Because the person, this is, this is what the person have in their head. The person have in their head is that God did not say he's coming back for a line. He said he's coming back for a church. I want you to hear what I'm saying. This is what, this is what the enemy is saying. God is not coming back for a, for a line. He's coming back for a church. And they're not even, my God, my, you see, many people can read the word of God, but they don't understand that the word of God said the gospel must be preached all over the world. And God used YouTube channel as one. And it is not a case to say forever and ever. It's going to be like this way. It's just on the line. And no, God is going to bring forth the ministry, the building, the church, yes, the yes. sanctuary, Amen. and now God is going to do it, but you see my God Almighty what it is, it is also a form of jealousy, and what they are looking on my God Almighty, they are looking on it to say, oh, if you, uh, you know, you, 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 when you were coming to church, you know, your, your giving was, was very important, so you know, we can't afford to lose your giving. Jesus, reveal it to me, God. We can't afford to lose, lose your giving. Jesus. Because you. if you are not in the midst, my God Almighty, that is something that missing out of the offering pan, out of the tithe span. So, yes, the pastor. Yes, so for you to stay away from church and not able to come back or not able, and the thing about it, my God Almighty, what God show me, Marco said to the candle Boshanda, inside where you used to go, my God Almighty, yes, they have a lot of singing, name it and what have you, but what you need to understand, my God Almighty, you have even seen it where your pastor is not the way he used to be before. Yeah. There have been a shift in his life because what? It's all about money now. It's all about getting it. It's all about this, this to keep, that to do, money to give into this, that, 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 that. My God Almighty, you're not, the la the, in the last season of when you were going there, you wasn't even feeling the power of God moving. You wasn't even feel. you, you was just feeling a weird spirit. You were just feeling a weird spirit. Don't care how much they you go in church, you sit, you came back out. I see you, my God Almighty, in the realm of the spirit one day. Church, my God Almighty, was going on, and you just want to get through the door before it's over because your your spirit man was just dormant, not rising. Speak, speak. So many times. You wanted to go to, to just, when, when they are there, my God Almighty, doing whatever, you just want to take your bag. And my God Almighty, just bend yourself down and sleep through, my God Almighty, the nearest door you can sleep through. Yes. Because what? Yes, it's true. Your spirit, man, my God Almighty, is not connecting with things that is going on. Because the ministry yes. that you are going is not, my God Almighty, a ministry to tell you even the hope of your calling. So that you can able to grow in it and rise in it. How are you dear? Yes, the pastor is true. So the enemy send whoever 
The enemy, my God Almighty, have you to bump into or to call you and to say what is going on and you tell them about the line and name it and whatever you and they saying, asking you if you're crazy. Asking you, my God Almighty, what kind of thing is that? That's not where God said, that's not what God is leading you into. And they come with their more this word and their more that word. And they want to convince you to tell you that what you're doing is wrong. Yes. I want to tell you what you're doing is wrong. But I rise up to tell you, Galatians 3, you're a teacher. And I want you to read it, my God Almighty. So if you can tap in with me very quickly, into Galatians 3, 1. Read it. Yes, amen. I'm getting it right now, Apostle. Marco, set to the candle of Hallelujah, hallelujah. Galatians 3, 1 reads as this. O oh, foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you that you should not obey the truth, before whose eyes Jesus Christ was clearly portrayed among you as crucified? Read the next verse. Verse 2. This only I want to learn from you. Did you receive the Spirit by works of the law or by the hearing of faith? Number three, oh God. are you so foolish, having begun in the spirit, are you now being made perfect by the flesh? Hi! Number four, amen, amen, speak Holy Spirit, hallelujah. Mighty God of Daniel, read number four and stop right there. Number four says, have you suffered so many things in vain, if indeed it was in vain? What the next verse said, I feel in five. I'm not in my Bible. Five, Therefore, he who supplies the Spirit to you and works miracles among you, does he do it by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith? All right, we stop right there. People of God, I wonder if you all hear what Galatians said straight, plain, and loud. Yes, yes, thank you, Lord. Thank you for your word. Yes, yes. I did, not, I did not send you to that scripture because I know it. I send it to it because God bring it forth. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Lord. If you listen to what the scripture said, Everything the scripture said is what God is doing on this line. The question that he's asking her, pertaining my God Almighty. Some is for ministry, some is for herself. Listen to it. That's right. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. Did you, my God, the Lord, the Lord God Almighty said, should not... Um, that you should... The verse 1, that you should not obey the truth. Before whose eyes Jesus Christ has been identified. What is this? Eddie. Identity. Set forth. Crucify. Identity. Set forth. Crucify among you. The part that I like what the Lord God Almighty has bring in. And I wasn't in the Bible and the Holy Ghost was just chasing me and tell her four, three, two, go, go to five, five, read five and stop. Look at five. Look what five said. Look what four and five said. Yes. All right, three said, Are ye so foolish having begun in the spirit? Are ye now made perfect in the flesh? Look at that. Yes. Look at that. Yes, Lord. That's all I can the enemy, God, show me that the enemy want to abort your dream. Yes, my God. Jesus. Thank you, Holy God. I asked Minister Gay to my God Almighty to get in touch with you the other day because I wanted to pray for you. Yes, yes. Thank you, Lord. You hear what the word of God said? Are you so foolish having begun in the spirit? Are ye now made perfect by the flesh? 
You have to answer that to God. That is between you and God. Four. Listen to me. I don't force people to be on this line. I'm telling you all the truth. If the Spirit of God can't have people to grip to this line, I don't want nobody to come and say, Oh, it's because of you, woman of God, why I want to be on the line. No, I don't do those things. From 2011, the Lord God Almighty tell me to tell his people, Look, this is not a cult ministry. With that, if you don't come on it, something bad is going to happen to you. And the woman of God is going to curse you. I don't do those things. People come, people go, and those that go. Many times the Holy Ghost have me even praying for people from 2011, as long as their name come to me. Amen. I don't force people to be in the midst. I don't force people. Marco said the candle will The enemy tell you, my God Almighty, come on the line and mute your phone. And you know when you're ready, just get out. Don't get involved. Take your time and draw out. Take your time and draw out. The enemy tell you, you know why? You know why the enemy doing this? Because the enemy want to abort what God God is 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 building up in you. Yeah, amen. My God. Because the enemy want to abort, he want to put bring abortion over your spiritual plan. Yes. Yes. That's what the enemy is doing. Yes. He want to abort what the Holy Spirit yes. of God has begun in you. You have been on this line probably about three, four months, something like that. And if you check yourself for the many years that's where you're coming from. You were sinking like Titanic, but since you come on this line, God Almighty, shooting you up in the realm of the Spirit. Shooting you up. Thank you, Lord. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Glory to your name. Marco said the candle motion there. Basanda. Oh no, look what the Lord gonna look what verse four said. Having he, having uh, have he suffered so many things. Can you hear me? Yes, have he suffered so many things in vain? If it be yet in vain, look at that. God is asking you a question: If what you have been on this line with, if it is in vain or not. If, if it all happen in vain, if or, or, or it happen not, it's for you. Attendees in this conference. Oh, it's for you to answer such a question. If whatever you come on this line for, if you have suffered it in vain. If it is in vain. No, no Lord. That is what the, Lord, the Holy Spirit is asking. My answer is no. No, Lord. Right here, my God Almighty. In, listen to the fifth verse. He therefore that minister, minister it to you the spirit and work at miracle among you. God is talking about the woman of God. Come on, people. God is talking about him. He therefore that ministers, minister it to you the spirit and work at miracle among you, do it he it by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith. Hey, by the hearing of faith. Mm -hmm. by the hearing Who has bewitched you? Who has be rich with you? The Lord God Almighty has shown me some months ago. If you could go back and even listen to some of what has been sp spoken in your life, as the Spirit of the Lord have me to speak to you. Yes. The Lord God Almighty showed me great plan. One of the times the Lord God Almighty said. Where ministry is concerned, the Lord God Almighty said, if you was to be in the midst of the woman of God, he would certainly use you because you are qualified. Amen. 
Because you are qualified. And God has given your word by saying whatever is in your heart, do it. And you let somebody come and be with you by telling you to abort it. You see, a person like you that know the word, you should be able to rebuke the devil and let him flee. You should let, you should, re I mean, look at this. Let me say something to your teacher, Crystal. Get, get this in your spirit. There are a few people that has been sticking out with me for all these years. And because of, because of what God see fit in your life, you have even get opportunity to do things that some that is on this line for years don't get. And that is like, listen to me, what you have done is like, you all know birthday cakes when you're ready to pray over it and have fun with the cake and you dip your finger in it and wipe it and the person's face or their nose or name it and start to talk. That is just a tip. That is just a tip of what God have in store for you. I am not forcing you. It's up to you because if I'm speaking by the flesh or by, by, by faith, you must know. Oh, I know. I know. Holy Spirit, I thank you for your time. For God! To reveal this, just know that whoever come to you is a liar from the pit of hell. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> I wasn't there. You, I don't talk to you. I didn't get into no conversation with you. You didn't tell my God Almighty Minister Gay anything. Name it, and Minister Gay should call me. I said, well, you know, Teacher Crystal say this and say that in a, in a, in the email or whichever way. Da 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 da. And I wouldn't anyway. You'd be out of your place to do that. That's right. Yeah, no way. It has not happened. This is the Holy Ghost revealing. You see, you see the God that we serve, people of God. When he saw Peter sinking, he said, Peter, come. It's turned the enemy of you to turn to see the wind. The wind. Wind that come with many things the enemy see you with. Because, oh, you need to, oh girl, you need to put on your clothes and come to church. That's number one thing with many people. To dress up and to go into the building where nothing is going on. I am not saying that people are to do it because people of God, it is good to go in the sanctuary as well. Don't get me wrong. But uh, but oh it, go, oh, it is good when you can go into a sanctuary. You know, some people are muted. I don't like that. Uh, some people are muted. Minister Lance, um, our dear sister Esther, and sister um sister arlene has been muted out i don't know what is going on with this crap here jesus help us my god holy god conference muted oh my god conference unmuted i'm trying to get all these people and they're still muted jesus. Apostle, when that happened with me, I all your all your tongue, my dear, all your tongue. I'm sorry. Just hold your peace. Amen. I'm trying to get all these people on mute. If they are, if you all have your phone muted, it's gonna be difficult to to um to lose your minister Lance, sister Esther. Somebody from New York City, check yourself if you mute your phone. And, um, Sister Arlene Thomas, if you, um, if you mute your phone, it's going to be difficult for me to, to unmute you on my side. It's two phones collide, who is that? Somebody with with a phone, with two phone in their house. I can't stand the talking. I don't like this.
The enemy, whenever he see good things going on, he will do everything to abort it. He will do everything to abort it. All these years, you don't know your hope of your calling. Just in a few months, you start to operate in it. To get set it right, to get it right, to do whatever is right. And the enemy is telling you that you're needed not to take any more interest. Just take your time until you come off. Quite a f Last week I called for you. No, you, you get off the phone. You was off. Um, during the Wednesday gone, I call for you. You get off. Because the enemy what? Be with you. I I, I'm, I'm going to pray for you. And, and as I said, I thank God for having you on this line. I thank God for... And you know, one of the things that the enemy shows too is that you get a little frustrated maybe, you get a little frustrated maybe if you have been told certain things. The enemy have you to be frustrated to say, oh, you know, you're, you're, you're doing this and you're doing that and, you know, you, 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 you can't, you know, it'd be best for you just not to even be in it because these things, you know, is like getting to you. Are you dear? Are you dear? Can you hear me? Yeah, I'm hearing you. Yes, I am here. No. I said the enemy want for you to get frustrated. Not when things said to you, you know, it's like you must get attitude and in your own way. Not with the person, but with in your own way. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. The Holy God is revealed. I hear you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Holy God. My God Almighty. I'm telling you, as I said, my dear, if you want the enemy, if you want the enemy to set you back, that is too sad because the Lord God Almighty said, if whatever has been released to you, if it is by law or by the Spirit, the miracle that you have seen, the word, name it, if you if it come by 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 the law or it come by the hearing of faith. So you have to know. Yes. What a God. Look where God sent me. People of God, look where God sent me. Loving God. See that. Loving God. You know what you need to do? You need to tell those that are telling you this and telling you that said, look, you need to come and join me. You need to tell them to come and join you because I sure know. That is the reason why I said to God, I said, God, I know that the sanctuary is coming and da 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 da. But I said, God, even with deliverance time, I don't want to stop it for my people out there. Because I know deliverance is going to be taking place in the, in the century, sanctuary. But at the same time, I wanted it to be for the people. So I'm, I'm praying and asking God to set me right. So that I can have all those time to work on the line and to work in the sanctuary. Whichever way God is going to do it, whichever way He is going to do it, I want God to do it. Let me pray, let me pray. For you, I am praying. For you, I am praying. For you, I am praying. I am praying for you. For you. Yes, I am praying. Yeah, Baba, shall we visit the evangelist? Marco said to the candle of Bush in the. I'm 
cities. Glory be to God, hallelujah. Father in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth King of the universe I come against every forces every darkness every spirit every spirit my God Almighty that what my God Almighty be with your daughter I command it to shut her back to send her I send it back in the name of Jesus Christ to the pit of hell where it belongs in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I ask you, oh God Almighty, to arise. I ask you, Lord God Almighty, to take over. I ask you, Savior, move in your might and in your power. Let not the enemy prevail over your daughter. My God Almighty, take over her mind, body, heart, and soul. Breathe upon her fresh God Almighty. Father, my God Almighty, it is not a forced thing for her to be the line God but I'm asking you God lead her in the path of righteousness for your name's sake Ibabasha, leader heavenly Lord father leader show her the way Lord God Almighty with my God Almighty Galatians 6 let, let my God Almighty verse Galatians my God Almighty 3 from my God Almighty 1 to 5 let it sit in her spirit teach her more God Almighty Holy Spirit teach her teach her teach her as she my God Almighty of the my God Almighty upon her life as a teacher teach her more Lord God Almighty more insight more wisdom knowledge and understanding let not the enemy prevail over her Lord God Almighty but let the Spirit of God arise and the enemy, my God Almighty, of her soul scatter back to the pit of hell. Mm -mm. In the mighty, precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ. For you, O oh God Almighty, is great. You do miracles so great. And there is no one else like you. Be thou glorified, be thou I am lifted up. In the mighty precious name of Jesus Christ, take over her mind. I command my God Almighty, thee the work of thy hands upon her life. Upon her, Lord God Almighty, hallelujah, her children, in the name of Jesus Christ. Breathe upon her, God Almighty, take over. Let not the enemy prevail, but let the Spirit of God arise. Father God Almighty, help her with her family, help her to stand strong. Help her, Lord God Almighty, so that the enemy will not bring any wrong. But she will understand, my God Almighty, what you are saying in such a time like this. For it is your Holy Spirit that is doing it so lord god almighty take over take charge move in the might and in your power in jesus name glory be to god hallelujah take full control jesus take full control in jesus name Take full control in Jesus' name. If it has not been for the Lord who is on my side, tell me where would I have been? Where would I have been? Go forth, minister. Go forth, minister gay in Jesus' name. God. Bless God, teacher Crystal. I thank you, Lord God Almighty, for moving by your spirit, by your power. Teacher Crystal, I want you to speak and, and speak from your heart and testify Amen. what the Holy Ghost did today. Tapping in to your situation, digging out some roots. Go forth in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Greetings to all my brothers and sisters. Sisters, glory to God. Bless the apostle and everyone attending. Hallelujah. I just want to go, like you said, Minister Gay, as a testimony and just speak directly out. Everything that the apostle said out of her mouth came from the Holy Spirit, and it is true. I can, I, it is such a, a waterfall of him blessing me with correction and telling me these things today. Revelation and then washing and all that took place right here with the Holy Ghost. I just want to say, as far as it goes, where this person, as the Holy Spirit revealed, came to me, 
I don't speak it just as it is. Someone came to me that I fellowship with in my my area, my territory, and this woman said directly that you know you're not supposed to be going there. You're supposed to be at my church. The bishop said he prayed that you're supposed to be here, and she brought that word to me just the other day. Prior to this happening, where it comes to the frustration and that spirit coming in and the Holy Spirit letting me see, according to the scriptures of Galatians, what bewitched you. It came in from the frustration after the, prior to that. He said, and I've been dealing with a spirit of misunderstanding. So, Apostle, I must say and to my, to my sisters and brothers and lives that the church gathered. We, my frustration and, and not being present was uh, was a big deal for me and it's not in my heart as the word says the, what he put in my heart he told me i have freedom to do this is not the liberty that i take this is not the liberty that i take so let me speak to that i must testify that i was disobedient people of god i was supposed to do something and i didn't do it let me tell you the consequences. I went about my my business as if, you know, I, I had the right. I got so many tickets, it exceeded what I was supposed to do. And I'm looking immediately, I knew, and it was almost like, to me, the Lord took me in the scripture back when he was delivering the children of Israel. The fact that, you know, counting Counting, not counting, but the length of years, look how long it took them if they had just done something. When I was disobedient, I got such a correction. And I wanted to reveal that. So in not doing what I know to do, what was in my heart, as the word says, what came over you, I know these things by the Spirit of God. You know what I mean? No, no man can have done these things. All the blessings and all the benefits, all that is supplied, amen, through the apostles, by the Holy Spirit. I don't take it for granted. So I apologize because I know there was some kind of offense in apostles speaking about how much she loved us. I received that apostle. I really received that because I know what my purposes are. I know who God called me to be, and that thing as to me being a teacher and walking in that thing all these years, attending the church and just growing and just being a, a body, really I was a dollar sign. And, and it's so unfortunate, but that's true. And I, and I received that, you know what I mean? Like they say, I'm missing in action. I have, I'm not missing. I'm before the Lord daily. I'm in attendance even when I'm not in the presence with the the, um, the, with the service that's going on, you know what I mean? And clearly there was a shift in our pastor's life, a big one. And, you know, that whether I reveal it, I've seen the shift. It was recognized through our prayer, through something that came You don't need to do it. You don't need to do it. No. Amen. No. You don't have to go into that. All right. Mm. Just for Christ to say, what you know what the holy spirit you know revealed and just kind of the holy ghost just left it at that amen you see what i'm saying the holy amen. spirit didn't go into any depths just yes. you know so it was clear yes and yes and yes and yes yes and the other thing too is the i want to just mention about the frustration you know because of perhaps being told certain things, you know, can you maybe speak to that and, you know, not getting yes. an attitude with the person, but yes. like in your own way. I was frustrated many times as to making mistakes. So as if, even if I had not been corrected, Apostle has spoke before. There are times when we're, on the, when we're connected, amen, in service, and there may be mistakes that uh, and, and then any person might make that we won't necessarily come right in and apologize. I was frustrated with 
I want to be able to speak and apologize, but then I was getting, I would hear this voice saying, you already messed up, why speak again? Like, it was just such a battle. And I found myself, like, cutting off, going into a side prayer and dialing back, and then it's still being some kind of frustration. And then I said, you know, as I write down here that, you know, rebuke the devil, then that's what I would do, but I'd disconnect. And then there was this, like, this continued falling away, which I also want to go to. I just see it that if I was at 100%, I just went down, like, 95, right. 95%. Like, you just went all the way down, and yes, that's what happened. And the Holy and I, Spirit, and, and, and 95%, the Holy Spirit was clear and said the interest cut from down to, to cut 95 percent just a five percent interest but it but it really didn't that is the appearance of it so how can i speak to that i agree yes but it's not true in my heart as i read the scripture and say well what are we standing on today just what you said in your words that's not the truth so i kept crying why so why that's not true for me it really isn't, but, but what, the Holy, Spirit, what the Holy Spirit was showing is that the frustration will, between what you've heard, what you heard, by saying, oh, it's just a line, you really need to be assembling together as the Word tells us. I hear people say that to me all the time. Oh, you're just on a line. You know, you're forsaking the assembling together. You know, I have to go, I don't pay it any mind. The bottom line is, is that, you know, I know what God is doing. This is a ministry. This is a, you know, ministry of miracles, signs, wonders, salvation, the word, everything. We just may not at this moment in time have a, have a physical building or place sanctuary, but it is coming. So I'm not even concerned about that. But pertaining to you, it was a combination of what was being said to you, Oh, why are you, you know participating in this? Why? Oh, how can these things go on? And the frustration you were feeling because of certain things. Look, I'm corrected all the time myself. You hear it all yeah. publicly, and I have yeah. no problem with that. Apostle may say yeah. right out, Minister Gay. You know, uh, you you know, entry notice off. Your spirit on that, or whatever, whatever the case yeah, 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 yeah. is. I say yes, and you are like, oh my God. And I take yes. it, because it's not her speaking, it's the Holy Spirit, so I have to receive that. And I do, and I'm grateful to God, and I move on. What you were doing, or what the enemy was telling you to do, was to let these things pile up, pile up, pile up. Oh, okay, so maybe you messed up a little today. See? Look, look what you're doing. And then the next time, oh, see? You were doing such and such. So the, the condemnation was piling upon you, turning into, as the Holy Ghost said, this ball of frustration. So when you've got one force telling you, well, why are you, you know, it's just a line, and then you're saying to yourself, you know, I'm frustrated anyway. I can't participate. Yeah. What value have I? Just, uh, oh, just so all the minute. The qualifications that he showed. Just hold a minute. What the Lord, Minister Gay, Minister Gay, can you just hold a minute? What I am, what the Lord just just stop in my spirit, even with the very smoking, the enemy don't want for you to stop. He don't. He want to get you into that place of um, of being stressed out, so that you can able to you know continue doing that because he know it is a blockage between you and God. Yes. 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 That's right. And you know, the word that was just, I was just going to say out of my mouth, and thank you, Apostle, thank you, Holy Spirit, is it all culminated into a giant blockage. One giant blockage, and it's like you're on the verge of exploding for him. You're on the verge of having so much that he's doing through you and will continue to do through you. But what does he want to do for each and every one of us? stop our destiny look at the same thing the holy spirit was showing evangelists things yeah. that you know yeah. he wants her to do these powerful dreams that she was having to block you know and to stop these things 